All right, here we are right on time, and uh, we are now moving on to our next, uh, there you go, our next speaker. Hello there. Uh, Hi, we are. We are more than on time. It's 12.45, and so I would like to take the opportunity and the time to introduce Alisa Yuniz Sagum. She's a social media manager and a virtual assistant who helps, and this expression I like very much, heart-centered entrepreneurs. It's all about emotions. I'm Italian. I can't help it. Uh, to gain a greater online presence through organic, organic and authentic growth. She's a well-versed in many platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Pinterest, bringing new ideas and modern approaches to creating engagement. Alisa assists her clients, attract loyal and paying customers, and gain the confidence they need in order to build a solid social media strategy and, again, conquer the digital world. So we are passing from the empires of before to the conquering of the digital world. Um, the title of her speech is My Journey as a Freelance Social Media Manager. And as we like to say here, you are free. Hi, Fabio. Thank you so much for that introduction. So my name is Alyssa. I'm a social media manager and virtual assistant. And today I'll be glad to share my journey on how I start to become a social media manager. So let me just share my screen with you. Okay. Let me just, um, I'm not sure if it's um, working now. Let me just try it again. It is loading. I saw it was loading. I'm right here. Okay. <clears throat> Let me know if you can see my presentation. It looks like something is loading up. So just give me a th thumbs up. <laughs> I, I can. Okay, I think it all right. You Floating floor. now. Floor is yours. So just an introduction. Um, I'm a social media manager and I've been in business for officially a year. I started on 2019. So um, this is my anniversary month, which I'm really glad. And I'm happy that I'm able to to share my story with you and so um so is anyone here interested to become an online freelancer Thank you to all the messages. <laughs> yeah, I think you can see my, my screen now. Uh, is it loading fine? I think there's a delay. So anyway, uh, um, the topics that I will cover is how did I start? Mindset shift the three C's and the benefits of being a freelancer. So first is how did I start? So I started when uh, my best friend invited me to the largest uh, Filipina community for freelancers. It's called Filipina Home-Based Moms. Okay, so I'm sure um, there are many of us watching here who, who is already part of that group. So um, this group is 
it's not just for moms because I'm not yet a mom as well, but it's open to every Filipina who's interested to become a freelancer or have a work from home career. So they have this group, a support group where we share our knowledge and there's also a monthly webinars, um, courses. So this is, uh, this will really help you jumpstart your career as a freelancer. So it's called Filipina Home-Based Mom. So I think most of you know most of the watchers here already know this group so i'm i'm proud to say that i'm part of filipina homies moms and i took the course of social media management and marketing and after a after a week of taking that course i got my first client and then after that uh, it's just you know client after client and I'm to be able to have clients and you know I, and also during that time I'm still working in Dubai so I'm a former OFW I'm working uh, as, as a admin and HR assistant in a CCTV company in Dubai UAE so if you're an OFW as well so if you're an OFW of w as well you you know you have what it answer because um that's what i did uh during that time i actually um juggle my full-time work and also my online freelancing work so it's not easy at first because um i have my nine to five job and then after work so when i get home that's where I do the task for my clients. So it's really, you really have um, the commitment in order to really be successful in this industry. So because um, there is a, uh, um, some people think that being a freelancer is easy. You know, some think that we're just, you know, um, on social media all day, but it's not that. There's there's so much more to it so if you're uh, if you really want to start this career and you know have a laptop lifestyle then then you have to be committed in order to you know in order to, to make it work so that's how i start my journey and um next is i uh, i will be discussing Let me just put it here. Yeah, the three C's in order to be successful in this world. So number one is commitment. So you have, that's my, you know, that's the main reason why, you know, why you're pursuing this passion, why you want to be a social media manager. So when you reach your potential, it means you're aligning your work with your purpose. If you understand your why, no matter how hard the situation is, then you will be motivated to move forward. So before you start, you have to ask yourself, why am I doing this? Is it for yourself? Is it for your family? Is it for the money? And so you have to know it because the journey won't be easy. So I, I will tell you that it won't be easy. But once you're committed and once you nail your why, then I think you can conquer anything. This is not for the weak hearted because um, in the freelancing world, you meet different people. You'll be able to work with clients from different countries different nationalities so in order to work as a freelancer or then you have to be you have to have the courage so like if one if a client also it means that there if 10 people say yes to you then there will be 30 more who will say no so you know you you have to be brave to take that you have to accept that not everyone will say yes to your services not everyone will you know not everyone will be happy with your services so you have to have the courage to be able to pass that and 
And the last one is consistency. So um, in the freelancing world, you have to be consistent when it comes to showing up. So not if you created a social media account, like if you have a Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, you cannot get clients if you know if you just created that. You need to post consistently. You need to engage with your continuously learn. You know you have to. You you cannot be stagnant in your position as a social media manager. I have to make sure to check the metrics of my clients and ensure that what we're doing, what our strategy is, is still connected to the main goal of the clients. So that's the main, uh, so that's the three C's in order to become successful here. So again, it's commitment, courage, and consistency. So now, um, what are the benefits of being an online freelancer? I think um, because of COVID-19, because of this pandemic we are now you know more businesses are now open to social media and um they are open to possibilities that social media is what they need in order to reach their audience because you know so many local businesses have closed their stores because there is no customer. People are not allowed to go outside. So you have to have, you know, you need to pivot your business, pivot your business and and social media is really one of the best ways that you can do that. Like for example, your business is about um, your, a, a yoga, you're a gym, you're in the gym industry. Then you can do online classes because of course no one will go to your studio. So you need to have another strategy for that. And as a social media manager, it's my job to make that work. So you can do online classes, and then you can also do like weekly weekly meetings, one on one coaching. So social media has a lot of benefits. And as a freelancer, you also have the time. You know, you have the freedom. You can work anywhere, and you are the boss. You are your own own boss, so you don't have to take a leave. So, if you're going out, like, or if you're going to take a vacation, you can still work and just inform your clients ahead of time that, like, for example, you're only going to be available at this particular set of time. So, again, um, there are so many benefits, but for me personally, it's just the freedom and being able to. Um, earn an income and do something that I'm really passionate about. So I don't have because back when I was still doing office work, I just you know you know the feeling of waking up and <laughs> saying to yourself that I hope it's the end of the day already. But for me, when I started being a social media manager, it social media manager is just stuff. I'm happy with what I'm doing. So. Um, my last piece of advice is that stay focused on your lane. Don't compare your level 10 with someone who is on level 100. Everyone has their own path. So um, if you see someone who's already successful, serve it as an inspiration. No, you don't have to compare yourself to that. And I think um, having like having a mentor will truly help you in order for you to stay focused and you know focus on your own growth you don't have to compare yourself we are deal uh, we are you know we have our own journey so just enjoy it and continue on learning so i think that's it and if you want to connect with me um i'm on instagram facebook and linkedin so yeah just hit me up with a message if you have any questions so I think um, Fabio will yes, be here here, yes, to help I you am. with the questions. Yes, there actually more than a question. There was um, a comment that came from Solem. And he says, wow, you're so hardworking. You juggle a lot of things at the same time. I think this is a very important process. Before you were defining your moment of passage between holding a job nine to five and having your own personal business, can you 
provide us with some tips on how to juggle so many balls at the same time without dropping any. Can you hear me? Alisa? As far as I'm concerned, I have lost her. I'm sorry about that. Well, sorry about that, Alisa. Uh, we had some glitches. I think uh, it might be coming from her side. But uh, I think uh, now she's back. Can you hear me? No, she can't. Hello? No. All right, guys, please, let's move on. But, uh, thank you, Lisa. I think what she said was very important because many of us um, experience a transition and sometimes you just don't jump cold turkey to a nine-to-five job uh, to uh, being a digital entrepreneur. So therefore, uh, there are, there's a moment when there's a little bit of overlap in between the two, and this probably is one of the most difficult moments. So thank you so much, Alisa, for your uh, presentation. It was extremely interesting. And we are getting ready for the next speaker.